Welcome to CDD Academy and this tutorial on how to use the API key, the key that we created in the previous video. We will be using this key with Data Warrior and with Stardrop from Optibrium. There are two things you will have to do. The first thing for Data Warrior is to install the plugin. This installation is described in the help section. In a quick run through, what you will have to do download the plugin. And if you're on the Windows machine, you go to the standard path of program files, Data Warrior, and you should see a plugin folder. If you don't, you simply create one. And then within this plugin folder, you will copy the CDD Vault plugin.jar file. Once this is done, we can go back to the Vault because there's an, one more thing you will have to prepare, and that is to have a saved search. The plugin relies on saved searches to retrieve the data. The same is also true for Stardrop in Optibrium. So if, if you don't have any saved searches, then go in your Vault to saved searches and create some, um, depending on what type of data you want to look at. In this case, you see I have several saved searches and I have created a particular one called Data Warrior Star Drop. Let's start up Data Warrior. And we go to the menu entry, database, retrieve all search results. In the box that comes up, you can set your API key the one that we created in the previous video. And save it. This will then automatically retrieve all the vaults that you have access to, if you have several vaults, and the searches that are in that particular vault. So you see here, I have this particular search called Data Warrior Star Drop. Furthermore, you can restrict it to any or all of the projects that you have access to. Click OK. You will obtain, a, for a few seconds, an empty box. And voila, you have your data retrieved. And then you can continue working with Data Warrior as you might be used to already. On the left, you have your list of the data as retrieved from the vault. In the middle section is the molecule only, some other windows, and on the right hand side, the filters. So whatever you have retrieved, you can go through like here, the log P, log S, etc. Stardrop by Atibrium works in a very similar fashion. Details from Stardrop have been shown in a video by Optibrium themselves. Here just quickly to show you and the custom strips menu. You should have the CDD Vault plugin after you've retrieved it from their homepage. Under change token, you enter the token that you've created. And then back to run search. This will receive in a box all the vaults that you have an access to, followed by all the searches that you have saved and then the projects that you want to retrieve the data from, some or all. Running the search, and within a few seconds you have a table. For more information, you can view their video. I will link this video in the section below. Thank you for watching this tutorial.